Hi guys, so I'm sorry I look like absolute crap, but I really kind of wasn't expecting to be making a ear stretching update video at like 1 in the morning. I'm like literally just off to go to bed and I figured, you know, it's been 5 or 6 days, my ears feel like really good and fine um, and they don't hurt at all really and I was like, you know what, I'll put in the 12 gauge taper and I'll kind of gauge how far along it is so I can kind of estimate how much longer it would be until I was ready to stretch. Because I'd heard off people that um, they were able to stretch really fast at the smaller sizes, like in two weeks or something. I figured I'd put in the 12 gauge taper, I'd see how far it would go, and when I went to put it in, it just went in. And there was no pain and or anything, it just slipped in just like the 14 gauge. I actually like had to double check to make sure this wasn't a 14 gauge, but no, it's, it's a 12 gauge. And um, and I was like, oh my god, okay, right, I'll try it on my bad ear. <laughs> I tried it on my bad ear and it went right through as well, so I guess... I guess I'm just gonna upsize. Um, I mean, my ears don't hurt and um, I'm kind of a little bit paranoid because the 14 gauges are so small. Um, I'm really worried that I lose the tiny little o-rings, so I kind of want to move up to a bigger size in the hopes that it doesn't, you know, get lost as easily. Um, so yeah, I've got my taper. I just use some um, coconut oil, um, like some virgin coconut oil on my ear, and I mean like, like, like it just went like straight through. So yeah, I'll just do the other one as well. Like, oh my, like it just. I didn't even feel anything, that just felt like putting in a regular earring, um, so that was weird, um, but yeah. <laughs> so needless to say I really was not expecting to be able to do this so soon and I know that like when I get to bigger sizes this will not be possible and even if it is not a good idea like I'm totally gonna wait I think after once I get bigger I'm gonna like obviously wait longer but I mean uh, I don't know, I just feel like I should just go for it and just, like, get it over with. Here's hoping this earring actually goes in. Yeah, that's, that's the 12 gauge in one ear. Just do the other ear. And there, it, it just went through. Um, that was, like, super easy. Last time was so hard, it took me, like, 10 minutes per ear to get the jewellery in. I don't know, I just wasn't having it. But yeah, so if I just put my ear kind of close to the camera so you can kind of see but like wow <laughs> it's kind of like that almost feels too easy I'm kind of worried I'll wake up tomorrow and my ears will have fallen off but yeah so that's the 14 gauges officially over with I'll probably never need these again that's pretty cool I'm kind of worried about the next size though like the 10 gauge looks so much bigger and it's so much heavier than the 12 gauge, I'm kind of worried. I'm gonna leave these for a good while, at least at least two weeks. <laughs> Hopefully a month, but I don't know. If I can wait that long, um, I will, but yeah. So yeah, I'd love to hear about your experiences. Have you managed to stretch this fast and been fine? Are my ears going to fall off? Like, are they gonna be okay? I mean, obviously I'm not gonna go this fast at a larger size, but for now, I mean, they seem fine, and they don't hurt, so... Yeah. <sighs> Stay tuned, I'll probably have my 10 gauge video up within the next month. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys again really soon. Bye-bye.